Hello everyone. Welcome to this tutorial on using Google Colab for your deep learning assignments. Google Colab is an incredible cloud-based platform that provides students with free access to GPU and TPU resources. This makes it an excellent tool for running and experimenting with machine learning and deep learning models. In this tutorial, we'll walk you through the essential features of Google Colab and show you how it can be a game changer for your academic projects. So let's dive in. To access Google Colab, you can simply go to collab.research.google.com and create a new notebook by selecting this option. For this demo, I'm going to use an existing Google Colab notebook. You can also create a new notebook by going to File and selecting this option or open an existing notebook right here. One of the most significant advantages of using Google Colab for students is the access to free GPU and TPU resources, as I mentioned earlier. So to enable GPU or TPU acceleration, you can go to Runtime, click on Change Runtime Type, and select the hardware accelerator of your choice, and click on Save. The hardware accelerators significantly help you speed up the training of the deep learning models, which will be very useful for your complex assignments. For example, the training time of ResNet 50 and different hardware accelerators has been shown here so that you can see how a better hardware accelerator helps you achieve a good speed up. Next, while training your deep learning models on Colab, you can also monitor your GPU or TPU utilization. For that, you could simply click here on the top right and see whether your model is effectively utilizing the available hardware resources. Next, importing libraries and datasets. Google Colab comes with pre-installed libraries such as TensorFlow, Keras, NumPy, and more. You can also install additional libraries of your choice using the pip command as seen here. Please feel free to run this cell uh, in order to test that out. Once it is installed, it is shown here by the green tick, you can import any libraries from which are required and go ahead with implementing your project or assignment. Next, Google Collab also allows you to collaborate with others in real time, which is a very helpful feature when you want to work on a project with your teammates or want to share the notebook with your mentors to receive their feedback, you can simply go here and share your notebook with your teammates or your mentors and professors, so on. Collab notebooks work in a cell-based environment. Each cell can either contain code or markdown cells. The cells which you see right here, which contain text, are the markdown cells and the ones which have code which you can use to write code and implement your models are the code cells. Google Colab automatically saves your notebooks in Google Drive. You can also go ahead and save copies of the notebook locally using the download option under file. If you have any custom data sets or other files required for your assignment, you can easily upload them to your Colab notebook. You can simply go to the Files option here, select Upload Files, select the file of your choice from your computer, and upload it. You should remember that this file, however, will be deleted after this session is terminated. A better option to upload and use your files is usually mounting Google Drive on Colab. This will allow you to use allow your notebook to access any files which are present inside your Google Drive. In order to mount Drive to your notebook, you could simply run this cell below and mount the Google node uh, Google Drive to your notebook. You'd have to approve all the permissions. And once you do that, you have successfully mounted Google Drive and you can, you're free to access any files that are present on your Google Drive. 
There are also important considerations for students. Google Colab sessions make time out after a certain period of inactivity. To prevent this, remember to save your work frequently and consider using Colab Pro to extend session runtimes. There are also limited persistent storage. While Google Colab saves your notebooks on, Colab, on Google Drive, the storage space for your environment is limited. Make sure to clean up unnecessary files or download your work to your local machine to free up space. Free Google Colab accounts have some resource limitations, such as GPU availability and maximum session runtimes. For resource-intensive projects, consider upgrading to Google Colab Pro for improved performance. Be mindful of the data you upload and the code you run in shared environments. Avoid using sensitive data or sharing sensitive information in public notebooks, for example, WinDB API keys or your Kaggle API keys. Colab Pro is a paid subscription plan that offers several benefits over the free version. It has longer session runtimes. With Colab Pro, you get longer session runtimes, reducing the risk of session timeouts during prolonged experiments. It also has priority access to GPUs. It ensures faster processing and reduced wait times. Colab Pro provides more storage space in notebook environments, allowing you to store and access larger data sets and notebooks. Colab Pro users experience faster processing and reduced queuing time for GPU or TPU resources. It offers two different plans, Colab Pro and Colab Pro Plus. The two plans offer the same benefits as shown above, except that Colab Pro Plus would allow your notebook to keep running in the background for up to 24 hours. The two plans offer $9.99 for 100 computer compute units and $49.99 for 500 compute units. Different accelerators would cost different number of compute units per hour, and the exact number of these units required would be depend on the availability. Congratulations, you've learned how to harness the power of Google Colab for your deep learning assignments. Within its free GPU and TPU resources, collaborative editing, code snippets, and more, Google Colab is a fantastic tool that can elevate your academic projects to new heights. So go ahead and make the most of this amazing platform for your deep learning course. Happy deep learning.